Good Tuesday morning. Welcome to this week's vlog. I have some news. Everybody, everybody is home from the hospital. Everyone. Yay. Um, there we go. Now I can see. Oh, hair. So everyone came home over the last couple of days. Um, and they are actually recovering well, um, which is good. Uh, my mother-in-law being the sickest, well, wasn't the sickest, but she, well, maybe, I don't know. Two of the mommies were very ill. Um, and my mother-in-law is recovering. She's having a little bit of a hard time, but she is recovering. Every day she is getting a little better. Um, today, oh my goodness, the puppers are barking. One minute. So, <laughs> Excuse me. Today I did go for my run. Just three miles. We're having a drink. We came inside. Mommy has the camera on. It's the usual MO. Um, it is 1024 on Tuesday, November 28th, and it is 71 degrees outside, which okay. Nicer than, it's nicer than the summer, but you know, I'd rather it be cold, but it's not, and that's okay. I'd like to wear my new Stitch Fix sweater. Um, <clears throat> so, but I can wear the long sleeve shirt, so that's okay, or the three quarter length sleeve shirt, that's okay. Anyway, um, so I am going to, I need to make phone calls today, um, transfer some medications from my mother-in-law and make her doctor's appointments for this week, the end of this week and next week. Um, and I will be taking her, she's asked that I take her. Um, so of course, I will <laughs> um, <clears throat> and um, I think it's because she it's probably because I have a medical background with my children um, and um, I'm used to listening to doctors and deciphering what they're talking about and writing it down and remembering it because um it's a lot of information to take at once and you have to make sure you you know you know what it's like to go to the doctor so um especially after major surgery so um yeah that's kind of what's going on this week um i am decorated for christmas uh not not as much as i wanted but you know what it's fine um, next year at the after Christmas this year, I'm going to try and hit some sales, some clearance and maybe pick up a few new pieces. Um, I didn't put my garland out this year. I have one that's about to ask to go potty. She can't ever go when anybody else, when everybody else goes, she has to wait. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Anyway, um, um. I forget what I was talking about. Oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna try and get some uh, after Christmas sales. I, I, yeah, I already said that. I didn't put my garland out this year. Um, I couldn't be bothered, honestly. Um, it just felt like a burden to put it out this year because of everything that was going on. It is very time consuming. It usually takes me a day or two to really get it up there and fluffed and exactly how I like it. So I didn't put it out this year. Um, there are more pressing things happening at the moment and um, I, uh, I just, I, I, I didn't get it done, hold on. Anyway, um, Rob really has not been home. Uh, you know, we had stuff going on this weekend. We were transporting parents from hospitals. It was just kind of a crazy weekend. Um, so tonight we are going to be having spaghetti for dinner. Just a quick, easy, simple spaghetti for dinner. Um, I am getting back on track with my diet, my fitness, and all of that. Um, basically, in the last 10 days, I've run twice, so I've only run six miles. Um, I have 75 miles left on my challenge for the year, and I will get them done. Um, normally, I have completed this challenge by now. What are y'all doing back there? <laughs> Yasmin, the one in the top. Oops, this way, right there. She rules this roost. She is our senior, and she means business. <laughs> Anyway, um, um, still scatterbrained. I, I'm still trying to get my brain to calm down and to get back to normal and to focus on the task at hand. 
Um, like I said, uh, I have 75 miles left. I'm going to complete those. I would have normally completed that probably back at the end of October, but I, it, we just, we've had too much going on. So um, it, it, it didn't get completed and the weather hasn't really cooperated. So over the next month, I'm going to be very busy completing that challenge. It has to be completed by December 31st. Um, and then, um, you know, then I can say I completed the you versus the year. Um, and you know, next year I'll be doing it, uh, doing it again. If you'd like to join along, I'll post that information when we get closer to the time to post it. Um, I'm going to show you the, um, Christmas decorations. I said I would show them at the end of last week's vlog and I don't think I did. So I hope that I edited that out. I'm sure that I did. Um, and, um, so I will take you around and show them to you in the daytime and then we can kind of peek at them later, later at night. I mean, if you're even interested, it's not, it's not, oops, it's not that fabulous, I promise. So let's see, let me flip you around. Um, this is the Lego waiting for me to get built, built to build, um, to go and something I will show you in a minute. And this is my Christmas, these are my Christmas dishes. I actually picked them up from a garage sale years ago um, and this is gingerbread something spiced gingerbread I have not lit them yet they have not been used yet because I am burning look at this pile of mess Ugh, I'm burning my favorite fresh balsam okay so excuse the floors I haven't vacuumed today I will I'll get to that after I make my phone calls okay here is the cabinet let me open it because all you're gonna see is the glare all right, um, this, that's from the Target Dollar Spot. That's from the resale shop, uh, thrift store. Target Dollar Spot, um, and these two are from Starbucks this year. I'm not sure where he came from, little Mr. Snowman. Um, this is from Dollar Tree last year. This is from Tuesday morning. Target Dollar Spot this year, Target Dollar Spot last year, and this is um, from uh, Disney Springs, a little glass store in Disney Springs, although I've seen them other places. Oops, it's facing the wrong way. Uh, this is years old. This was around when I was a kid. I picked these up um, at um, TJ Maxx or someplace. Oh, fine. No, sir. He's trying to get in the cat food. Target dollar spot this year. My nativity scene my mother-in-law gave me. Um, the joy sign and I believe this all came from the Target Dollar Spot, Target Dollar Spot, and that is from Walmart last year, I believe. And then those are from, um, what is that place called? Dollar Tree. And then my usual fluffy lights over the, those are there year round. Um, I have not hung our stockings with care yet. Working on it. And then here is this room. Oh, my wrapping paper fell down. Here's our little tree. Whoops, the cats have been messing with it. Hold on. This is our little tree. It's very little. Um, the ornaments on here are my daughter-in-law made this for me. Um, it's the initials of everybody in the family and made this for my husband along with another one there's another one down here so cute and here's a taco and a pizza those came from target this year and this is my lego tree these are lego ornaments um that are in bulbs oops that one fell apart i need to fix it little kitty cat one a christmas tree and then there's some more up here um these but these are all my special ornaments um, my daughter-in-law's mother made that for me. Um, and uh, another snowman, little dinosaur. Um, these, I collect the Lego ornaments as I've mentioned before, um, but I only started collecting them a couple of years ago. So um, I actually did not know they made them. So yeah. And then here is my spillover tree for my Starbucks ornaments. This tree, I'm going to have to go let her in. One moment. Okay, this tree only houses my, um, the metal, maybe the plastic ornaments. Um, these are glass, but um, 
you know, these are the Starbucks ornaments from this year. Uh, this one too. And there's this and this one from this year. Um, and these are from the Target Dollar Spot. And this little Christmas tree I just picked up at Walmart. It was $12. It's a three foot flocked tree. Um, it's so cute. Um, Target Dollar Spot. Uh, I don't have lights on it. <laughs> um, these lights were actually supposed to be on it. And um, I had three sets and the cats ate one of them. So um, I only have two sets. I have another one ordered. It'll be here soon. Target Dollar Spot, Target Dollar Spot, and my Fresh Balsam. I showed you these. Uh, she is from uh, Kroger Marketplace. No, H-E-B from last year. Okay, here's my case. Um, I will place Lego in there and I'm going to be wrapping a couple of boxes. So they will go in this area. The boxes will sit here. This will sit on top of it. Um, and my Lego will be in there. And once I have the lights, I'll string the lights through in there too. And then here is my Starbucks tree. Um, I have been collecting Starbucks ornaments, gosh, since uh, 2008 or 9. I'm not sure when. Um, uh, however, I was not as um, good about collecting them the first year or so. Oh, this one needs to actually be on the other tree, but this one's Disney Parks. I love this one. And then uh, I have another one from Disney. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, here it is. Is this it? No, that's the bear. Uh, let's see. It's that one. Did I not pick up the heart one this year? I thought I did. I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell which ones are from what year. <laughs> if I picked them all up this year or not, I don't know. I thought I did, but apparently there are a couple missing. So that's okay. I'll get them eventually. Um, this one I picked up, this is one of my favorites with the Swarovski crystals. Um, and I have another, another one from the Disney parks. I don't know where it is. This is the one I was looking for. Yes, so I did pick it up. Um, but it says, where are you? Hmm. Silver ones. 2013 Christmas blend bot bags. I don't know. I might not have put it out for fear it might get broken because it's the only one I have. Um, anyway, um, so that's that. Uh, that's my favorite. I really, really enjoy the Starbucks. Oh, see my broken mini blinds? Yeah, I have to replace those again. Um, I replace them at least twice a year. So that's, uh, that's that. Um, uh, but yeah, so that's the Starbucks tree. And, um, here is my Lego for Christmas. I don't, I need to dust in here. So you're just going to have to forgive the dusting. Um, but I have, it starts down there and works its way up. All my different Lego sets for Christmas. Again, I need to dust. It's very difficult to dust Lego. Um, and that's why they're in this cabinet and usually only have to dust once every six months or so and it's time. So, um, and then the other Lego sets and I have sets in there for Christmas. I need to build as well. Uh, though I'll get to it. So anyway, that is that. That is all of the Christmas, uh, literally with the exception of what's out front. Oh, I'm sorry. This is over my computer. <laughs> so yeah. So there we go. So that's Merry Christmas in my house. Um, yes, that's about it. Chewy.com came in. So, um, you know, I, I normally do a little bit more, but just not this year. Um, oh, I have a cookie jar over here that I'll show you in a little bit and some plates over here set out for Christmas, but otherwise really that's about it. Um, I just, let me set you back up. Hang on. I also have a little mini tree. I guess it's, it's about a foot, foot and a half tall in my bedroom um, with lights on it. That's about it. I, it. You know, that's the extent of it. Um, I would love to have more, 
Um, but you know, it is what it is. This year, it's, it's just, just not going to be a lot out. And quite frankly, I have cats. And um, that makes it kind of impossible to have Christmas out. I mean, th because the lights, the spark, all of it, the dangly, they want to touch and play with all of it. What I have out makes me happy and it's lit up just fine and it, it's beautiful at nighttime and the outside of my house is done, so it's fine. Um, eventually, I'd like to decorate my patio and things like that and that'll come along, you know, as I find things after Christmas that are meaningful to me. Um, and uh, I'll put them out there, so yeah, anyway. So I rambled on for 20 minutes so I'm sure I've cut a lot of it out. So, <laughs> so I'll check in with you in a little bit. Good Wednesday morning. It's 6.37 Wednesday morning. Millie is snoring. It's extremely foggy outside. I mean, extremely foggy. Um, I can't see towards the ends of my street, but I'm getting ready to get dressed and go run. I'm a little afraid of that because it is so foggy. I, I'm afraid I won't be able to be seen. So I'll just have to be really careful and not run with headphones this morning. So, or at least one of them, or maybe both of them, so that I can uh, hear traffic. Um, and uh, yeah, Rob's already gotten to work safely, thankfully. Well, his first stop safely. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, it is so bad outside. It's, it's like it's raining because it's so thick. Um, we have, it says zero to a quarter mile dis disability. Okay. Zero to a quarter mile visibility, which I believe it's, it's pretty bad. My cats are being big butts. I'm not even kidding. They will not leave the Christmas decor alone. So today's agenda, uh, to get the stockings hung with care. Um, and to vacuum because I have to vacuum every day and to finish the laundry. I, I got most of it done yesterday. I just have a little more to do today and um, I need to cut up my salad for the week, um, my produce for the week. I need to um, bake a chicken salad and I need to um, for my lunches. Um, I got the first Carnival Cruise vlog done. Um, I have to watch it back. That's where I am at that point. And then I will start the next couple of them and get them moving. Um, Bond is here. We have not seen Bond since last week. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So Bond says good morning. And um, I am going to, oh, I need to build my Lego and finish my Christmas um, display. Uh, in my front room. So, need to do that. So, that's what's happening. I will check in after my run. Okay, so FedEx just came and dropped off my Bath and Body Works order from Black Friday. Um, I, I did a small order because I wanted to get the, it's in my face, wanted to get the little bag. Um, and it's funny because it was in between hospitals. It was one of, it was in the car on my phone, and then I had to pause. I was really worried. I wasn't gonna get it. I mean, big picture, it's not the end of the world. But uh, I just wanted to make sure that it. I did get it because oh, there's so many things. Okay, let's see. Oops. That's the storage containers going back to my to my son. We only use glass here, and. He doesn't mind the plastic. Okay. So, here is the free free gift or gift with purchase. And actually, you had to pay for it. It was just a reduced price gift with purchase. Hold on. Oh, it's got some scent to it. I think it's all of these down here. And then here's what I ordered. Um, just warm vanilla sugar. And bourbon... Uh, bourbon butterscotch all sweet scents um, it was like buy three get three I think it was for Black Friday so I bought six of each and that's all that's in here um, because these are much easier for me to use than 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 um, 
candles, even though I love candles. Uh, and now I have a coupon, 20% off your online order. Um, so hopefully, yeah, now through March 24th. So when they're $8 candles, then I, I will use my coupon and pick up the candles, <laughs> the $8 candles, and in the scent, fresh balsam, and a couple of others. Anyway, and then, um, Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble completing a sentence. So let's let's see what's in, make sure I'm not knocking anything off, no. All right, so let's see what's in this bag, shall we? I couldn't really see because it was on my phone. Ooh. But um, I watched an unboxing of this. And, uh, anyway. Hey. This is toasted champagne. I hear somebody up. Uh, yeah, that's definitely, she said a strawberry scent for sure. Hmm. Uh, this is going to go in somebody's stocking. Let's see what this smells like. Mm. Winter candy apple. It doesn't really smell like apple. It just smells like something. Uh, this will go in somebody's stocking because I don't use these. They dry out my skin. This is what I was excited about. Let's smell this one. Go down. Doesn't really have a scent to me. I don't know. It smells okay. Light, very light scent. And this one is Shea Butter Heart of Gold Hand Cream, very sweet. I like it. Oh, this is hard to open. Mmm, that's nice. That smells nice. Hmm. Body cream. I was gonna buy a bag from Nordstrom that was similar, but this came with all the free items, so perfect. Good Thursday morning, barely. It's 11.17 a.m. Thursday. Um, today, we have guitar, we have crazy things going on. I completed my virtual race this morning. I need to report that, turn that in. Um, I did complete the series um, with this race, so all five run Houston races have been completed. Um, that's exciting, so I'll get my, my little, um, it's a little like plaque and it holds all five of the medals. Um, it's really cute. I'm excited to get that. I um, almost missed the race because I for because I forgot to register for it uh, in the chaos of the last few weeks. So thankfully I was able to complete it. I would have been so upset had I missed the very last race of the year <laughs> having completed all the other ones. Um, Addie's getting a drink. 
Um, so today I need to do all my normal daily things. I need to vacuum, wipe down the tables, the counters, the appliances. Um, and uh, for dinner tonight, we're going to have leftover tacos and leftover spaghetti, the two meals earlier this week, and we'll just have leftovers tonight. Tomorrow, we're going to actually have terrible food. We're going to have frozen pizza. Um, and Saturday, Saturday we have a market to go to. I'm going to try and bring the camera for that, but everybody will be with me. But I'll, I'll kind of figure out a way to get that. Um, and it is local in my community, so um, I have to be careful of running into people I know and them going, why do you have a camera? I'll figure it out. Um, I've actually never been to this market. Um, so uh, I believe last year was the first year they had this market. I don't know. Um, maybe we went last year. No, we went last year. Um, and then we also went to the Tomball German Fest last year. That was a lot of fun. We did that. Um, it was very, very busy. Um, so uh, this one is the Nutcracker Market here. It's another Nutcracker Market. I guess that's just a common name for them. It's not like the one indoors. Um, the uh, not the Astrodome. What's it called now? Reliant Center? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, so we're going to be doing that. And then Saturday night, I'm going to be watching my daughter-in-law perform. And then, um, yeah, so it's going to be kind of a busy weekend. And Sunday, Sunday, I'm hoping we just stay home and relax. Um, so that Rob can do some resting and, and catching up. Um, you know, it's holiday time. So uh, like I've mentioned, it's very busy for him this time of year. So, um, and um, I won't get to it this weekend, but um, maybe next weekend I'm going to start some baking. So exciting because it'll be my first gluten-free year of baking. Um, and I'm excited about that. I did attempt a little bit last year just for my soon-to-be daughter-in-law, but um, I actually never passed anything on to her because I didn't find that it tasted good. So um, I have been doing a little bit of research, so hopefully we can get something tasty for this year. Um, and uh, let's see, what else? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'm getting ready to go respond to comments. Um, the Carnival Breeze vlog number one went up today. Um, and I need to edit another one to get that one up for Saturday. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna try, hopefully Sunday when Rob's relaxing and watching some football, I think I'm gonna try and blow through editing five or six of them, you know, to get quite a few done so that we're ready and I can kind of post them as we go. And then hopefully uh, during the week next week, um, get them finished so I can schedule them. That way they're there and then I can focus on some holiday videos um, that I'd like to do. Some gluten-free baking videos and some, uh, you know, just some holiday videos, I don't know. And we're making plans, our travel plans for next year, um, looking at what all we're gonna be doing and where we're gonna be going and that's exciting. Um, and we'll make an announcement on that kind of thing once we've settled on everything and decided what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, so um, grandma, we saw grandma yesterday, my mother-in-law, and let me just tell you, she is looking amazing, amazing. Um, her dizziness has subsided, which is fantastic. Right. She is doing better, and that's what's the most important. She's feeling better. She's taking care of herself now. You know, she can walk around the house now. She can get up and grab her coffee or her things. You know, she can, she's slowly regaining all of her normal, normal things. You know, the normal things that you do. And um, that means a lot. And you know, when you walk into the room now to see her, she's awake and you know, functioning in the conversations and things like that. And that is just huge. It's huge. So um, I'm very, very grateful. Very grateful for that. Oh. Anyway, let's not let's not do that. Let's not get emotional. <laughs> so anyway. Um, and um, my sister-in-law's husband's mother is doing better as well, and my mother is doing better as well. Um, you know, everybody's home, everybody's recovering, recuperating, it's, it's going great. Um, so that's a big deal. So <laughs> we're chugging along, we're getting through. <laughs> so anyway, um, and you know, so many of you have wished me well, wished my family well, and I appreciate that so much. Thank you so, so, so much. 
um, it really did mean a lot to me and, and my husband and just it meant a lot so thank you very much um, and uh, yeah so today I'm gonna get busy doing the normal things and um, hopefully this vlog will pick up this weekend excuse me <clears throat> And uh, we'll go see another market together and uh, have a little bit more fun. So, um, yeah. The days of summer of watching the dogs swim and run around in the backyard. <laughs> so, that's kind of passed for a little bit. Um, we're due for some really cold weather coming up next week. I'm so excited. <sighs> the colder the better. Anyway. All right. I'm going to get busy. Thank you so much and I'll see you in a little bit.